गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पावर कंट्रोल ओके द पावर कंट्रोल इन द विंड पावर प्लांट ओके नाउ हाउ कैन वी कंट्रोल आवर कंट्रोल द पावर जनरेटेड इन इन विंड पावर प्लांट दैट दैट द प्रोसीड्योर द डिफरेंट प्रोसीड्योर विच विच यू विल see in today's class okay now because of strong fluctuation in wind speed and direction control of wind mechanism is essential to control uh, essential to protect the system and ensure the power quality okay now for grid coupled system with a um, fixed frequency okay power control must be exercised okay speed as well as power control are possible in varying rpm condition okay that means uh, the 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 speed as well as the power can be controlled okay of a rotor okay a speed uh, you know uh, the speed whenever the speed is controlled then uh, by the by the default the power is also controlled okay so the power power and the speed पावर एंड द स्पीड कंट्रोल आर पॉसिबल इन वेरिएबल आरपीएम पॉसिबल इन वेरिएबल आरपीएम कंडीशन ओके दैट मींस व्हेन वी व्हेन वी वेरी आवर आरपीएम और आरपीएम ऑफ रोटर ओके आरपीएम मींस रोटेशन पर मिनट ओके सो सो व्हेन एवर वी कंट्रोल दैट आरपीएम ऑफ और वेरिंग दैट आरपीएम ऑफ मोटर वी can control the speed as well as the power okay now the first um, first uh, technique is slow rotor okay poor control mechanism okay slow rotor in slow rotor mechanism uh, with a very simple uh, sheet metal uh, simple sheet metal blades are that are fixed with the rotor hub okay uh, here the blades okay the the blades which is all, all uh, which is which is not aerodynamic just simple sheet metal okay blade okay and it is not possible to control the number of rotation okay through uh, adjustment of the rotor blade okay since the rotor blade is very simple okay so it is not possible that it is not possible to control the rotation okay by bearing the rotor blade okay so because the rotor blade is fixed okay now now the number of uh, the number of revolution can only be uh, thoroughly influenced by moving the whole rotor away from the main window direction so that the smaller wind area is influenced by the rotor here what we can uh, do that uh, we can um, move the whole rot uh, rotor okay in a whole rotor in the or a whole rotor in a direction where the uh, incoming uh, wind is very less okay that means uh, when we uh, when we move uh, the rotor face uh, from the uh, direction of wind to another direction or partially uh, uh, or the rotor face partially meet the direction of wind then we can control the rotation okay and and uh, and this this is possible through a hydraulic system okay this um, rotation of uh, or moving of the rotor rotors whole rotor is a hydraulic system through an additional side vein okay uh, which uh, rotate the rotor away from the wind depending upon the wind speed okay both the vein ensure uh, safety from storm as well as sideway drift for higher wind velocity okay so there there is a hydraulic vane are there the, you, 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 you know vane okay vane means this this type of vane let's say this is metal blades okay 
three blades okay or let's say four blade okay this is the rotor there is a uh, in back side there is a vein also there okay like that okay this is the, this vein is present in the back side okay so due to this vein uh, the 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 rotor okay the rotor this uh, total rotor move move and uh, save from the storm or any high speed velocity wind okay now next is control of fast rotor okay how can we control the fast rotor okay the control of fast rotor ensure either reduction of wind force or in an increasing of them okay now in this case in this context it is possible to achieve two aerodynamic methods okay Com this controlling of fast rotor can be achieved by two aerodynamic methods okay one is control through a change of blade of angle okay next one is control through a fixed blade angle but blade um, blade through control of wind flow at the propeller okay that means uh, one method we can control the angle of blade let's say uh, this is the uh, one minute. let's say this is the blade okay and the angle of blade means uh, uh, this blade uh, can be placed like like this okay or like this okay or like this 90 degree okay that means the angle the angle this angle okay the angle is less or more okay by varying that angle we can control the speed of the rotor okay or or we can uh, make or we can make if there is a rotor okay this is the rotor let's say we can make a propeller okay or passing window okay of wind and we can control that passing window okay by closing or opening or partially closing we can control the flow of wind to the uh, to the rotor okay this is the two these, these are the two methods okay then most of a most of the big as well as small wind machine tend to employ a control of the plate angle the control is provided in the rotor hub which allow the rotation of the blade up to 90 degree along with the ang uh, longitudinal axis okay Long longitudinal axis means this is the longitudinal axis okay then this type of control is known as pitch control okay uh, in the sum of the smaller and medium size wind ma machines the rotor blade are fixed with the with the hub because of the cost okay the, with increasing velocity of the wind above the normal wind speed the control is achieved by stalling the wind flow towards the end of the width width of the profile okay due to uh, due to pro um, due to reduction of the lift force on the blade the angle of attack in increases and the number of rotation remain constant and the power remain constant this type of control is known as stall control okay remember these two types one is pitch control one is stall control okay uh, in fast uh, fast method control through a change of blade angle is called pitch control and the second is uh, control through a fixed blade angle but blade through control of wind flow okay at the propeller is called stall control okay now start control of fast rotor okay due to a smaller number of rotor blades okay the fast rotor have unsatisfactory start characteristic okay for starting a rotor the blade angle should be as large as possible okay at the beginning of the start uh, at, the, at the beginning of the start process okay the peripheral velocity is zero then this uh, position 
you see this is the position of rotor okay this is the rotor position of rotor okay and this is the angle angle okay then you see so the position of the rotor blade at the normal operation position and start position at normal operation the rotor cannot be, uh, be cannot start because of the large value of the angle of attack and wind flow stall at the rear of the profile okay in operating force in the plane of rotor only when blade angle is large enough for a letting of the wind flow of the profile where when the rotor start moving the blade angle should be continuously became smaller to its normal angle that means you know the angle in the starting okay the starting the rotor blade angle should be should be a, a very large okay and after uh, after uh, after after starting okay the rotor angle should it decrease and at the end only minimal angle or at the high velocity of the uh, air the angle should be minimal okay Up, uh, since we can control or uh, we want to control the rotation of the of our rotor okay now <coughs> partial load control means in partial load control wind power mechanism operate with a constant blade angle okay which is beta this is beta okay and as a result a constant variation of blade angle and a an uh, yearly stall of wind rotor is avoided okay in in the case of grid connection system with constant uh, frequency operation partial load control provide a uh, variable export of power okay now this is the this is called partial load okay now full load condition okay the full load condition the full load in this uh, in the case in the case of higher wind speed than the normal speed okay one should ensure that the normal power is not ex exceeded okay full load condition is therefore achieved by adjusting the blade in a such a position that the lift force is reduced this reduce of the force at the blade figure 30 points you see a 30 this is the nominal angle okay and this is the beta angle okay for full load okay now the, uh, by, re by reducing this angle okay in full load question therefore achieved by adjusting the blade angle in a such a way position that the lift force is reduced okay the reduce of the force in the at the blade okay so in influence that beta angle beta on the angle of attack alpha a okay angle of attack this is alpha a okay in the in the case of wind rotor normal normally situated in beta nominal at the wind speed greater than the normal speed okay now tracking of the wind direction in, in case of changing wind direction the rotor should move towards the direction through a gear system okay that gear system is controlled through the wind in last from this uh, whole topic we will learn that the rotor blade okay this rotor blade you see this rotor blade um, angle okay controlled okay or varying to get the optimal uh, rotation okay, of rotor okay uh, in full load we can uh, varying more angle okay or any in, in uh, in low load okay or partial load we vary the rotation angle for all for getting the constant uh, constant uh, rotation okay that's all for this class thank you